Gang, that middle class famous tour is coming your way and it's coming fast, baby. We just added a bunch of new cities. It's a fantastic time. Stand up comedy show. Plus, we play a little AYG with the crowd. It's a fantastic way to introduce the new bozos and the new homies to the show. So get the squad and come out and see us. Yeah, guys, in August, we're going to be in Red Bank, New Jersey. That show is about to sell out. Then we're going to Seattle, Portland, September. We're going to be in Kansas City, Let's go. Springfield, Let's and St. Louis. Then in October, we're in Nashville, Indy. Woo! Then November, we're in Philadelphia. Yikes, then, coming home. Then December, we're in Providence, Rhode Island, and Boston. Get Woo! those tickets. Those shows will sell out. See you there. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they're going to be classy. Yeah. But they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here in Aunt Tootie's basement. She's upstairs uh-huh. making some potato bread. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's doing, folks. All right. For the neighbors or for the houses, are we expecting company? What's happening? I hope I'm wetting my beak on that. Yeah, what do you mean? It's carb-free, I think, too. <laughs> she does Gluten. it with meth. Gluten-free. <laughs> Why is it blue? <laughs> blue magic, baby. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. It's a family episode. Oh, just yeah. the homies, just the bozos, just the gang hanging out together. Give it up for my best pal in the whole wide world. Some would say the solar system. <laughs> KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking, baby. Nice. Then, obviously, the greatest goddamn website of all time, <laughs> www.patreon.com. Slash are you garbage. You sign up, you get bonus content, episodes of AYG. You do. Episodes of Hard Failing. You do. A couple of live streams on there, too. The whole thing's a fucking party. Get involved. Ooh, the bald guy ain't lying. I'll tell you that right now. And how about a nice... Quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. He crosses the T's and dots the I's. He works the ones and twos, god damn it. Gotta be in Ibiza this weekend. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dude? T-Bone. Yeah, I'm working the valet. It's the only country that would let me park cars. He's gonna be in there dancing like fucking Tara <laughs> Reed. Getting white girl wasted. <laughs> he took a pill in Ibiza. <laughs> Show Foley, he was cool. Hanging out with Diplo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shout out to Diplo. Ooh, that dude's cool, man. He's got purple hair. Yeah, he does he all does right. It. He's getting a little too... Uh, yeah, this is not a <laughs> show we typically do. But what's he, what's a little... he pulled down on a gig? Couple grand? What? Yeah? Yeah, he does all right. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think depending on the gig. <sighs> all he got to do is show up... I don't his... think he's splitting it with you either, all right? Like, I have to. <laughs> All he's got to do is show up with his laptop, right? And he's in. He's ready to I go. I think it's a little harder than that. These DJs <laughs> get made fun of, but, you know. Oh, they're super talented. I love when that when that pops in. I'm dancing around, <laughs> popping E-bombs. Let's go. It's fucking smoking moon rocks. You are. <laughs> I wanted to ask you this. Ask me, buddy. That's why I'm here. This is our comedy podcast. We're trying to be better people. I don't know, but sure. <laughs> 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 On paper, I say I am. Yeah. I'm, uh-huh. tr- I'm trying to be a better person, do more things, this, that. I want to do things right. Okay, I haven't, I, 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 haven't, <laughs> I haven't traditionally done things right. Uh-huh. We don't have a dishwasher, so we wash everything by hand. My dishwashing... Inc- What's my, it like to be poor? <laughs> Achi, machi. My dishwashing my dish uh, practice has increased a million fold in the last couple of months. I'm washing more dishes. Okay. I'm not just saying, I'll get up, I'll do it. Just whatever, real quick. You know, I look at it like it's a project. It takes five minutes, ten minutes before you get in the shower. You do it, you're done. You don't go worry about it. Uh huh. I don't know how my assembly line is, to be honest with you. I well, also wouldn't, I don't think you're the most sanitized guy. I would but, assume there's a couple pieces of lettuce and spinach stuck on there. I've heard complaints. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There's a couple Yelp reviews out uh-huh. there. I can imagine. Yeah. I don't have a fucking uh, an A rating, I can mm-hmm. tell you that. But I, I really, I'm, I'm real heavy with the soap. 
You know what I mean? I, I really get a nice, I like a nice scrunchie. I, I like using an old gym sock to fucking as the sponge. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask what your arsenal is like. I can see what you kind really, of what kind of hardware you work. I can with. see you rocking with the the sponge attached to the handle with the soap in the handle. That's pretty good. That thing's trash, dude. My stepdad had one when we were in elementary school. Hell yeah! But we would go over in the nineties. That was NASA, dude. Like, we would go over and play with it, like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it'd be me and my brother posted up at the counter at the sink. Fucking hey, what? Up? Just get a get a pot. Let's see how. Sure, we're being attacked by dawn. Yeah, Let's see how it works on a kettle. It was like fucking. No, we were just doing dishes with him, fighting over who's Paul Olive. Oh man, just doing dishes. That's, yeah, we we're just fucking. My mind, dude. To see that thing, I, like, I was telling my friend, I'm like, you should see what my stepdad has. I like good equipment. I like fucking getting it all soaked up in the hot water and organize it in the sink. It's all right, man. It's all right. That thing we're past though. No, we got a. We have the fucking wooden handle like loofah for the for the cups. Uh, we have a little tiny thing for the, like the metal straws. We have a nice like Scotch Bright, but it's not Scotch Bright. And we got the Scrub Boy. That's the real the Scrub deal. Daddy. The scrub daddy, the thing that's real Shout hard. Shout out to Shark Tank. That thing made like a billion dollars. Yeah, I take it in the shower every once Whoa, in a while. Whoa, all exfoliate. right. Never eaten at your place. <laughs> nope. That's what. It, that's your problem. Just you to make, exfoliate. You, you cross lines. Yeah. yeah. That's what you're not. Your borders are all wonky. I like a good scrub. Then buy a fucking... Remember, my dad used to clean my fingernails with that scrub and we've, brush. We've mentioned it, and I have one in I my can, shower. I, I took a picture of it. I took a picture of it. I keep forgetting to send it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't. I don't need that. I don't need any. I don't need a picture of anything in your bathroom. Scrub them elbows. Oh. My dad always said, yeah, scrub them elbows. Yeah, yes, sir. But we have a nice setup. Okay, we have good equipment. She has all kinds of good stuff, but she's out of town. So I'm doing all the dishes. <laughs> You're also making all the dishes. Very true. You make it sound like you're doing other people's dishes, too. Like, I ain't the neighbors doing the dishes. <laughs> like, I'm working at a catering hall. Yeah. Off. So I'm doing all the dishes that I make. So, okay, let's say I got a couple of cups. I got a couple of plates. I got a couple of silverware in there. This is what I do. All right? You tell, you tell me if I'm, if I'm there or if I'm not sure. there. So I organize everything, scrape anything off if there is, get it up. I take a cup. I take the biggest cup I have. I stick it in there. I fill that with hot water and soap. I see where you're going. That's where the silver the silverware sits for a little soak while. Soak it. You got to do a pre-soak. Soak it. Now, my question is, with everything else, okay, obviously you're going to do the silverware at the end. Do you wash a dish, rinse a dish, and put the dish away? Or do you soap up the dish, sit it back, soap up the other dish, sit it back, soap up the cup, sit it back? Do you, I do like an assembly line like that. I do phase one first. Sure. Then I rinse. Okay. Take a deuce. <laughs> Have a smoke. <laughs> put the under ar- put under armor on it. Sure. And then under uh, armor all under I, armor. I, I, already, I know what you meant. <laughs> and then I put it in the rack. Uh huh. Is that proper? What do you do? I don't know. I'm a one four guy. Boom. I like one. I clean the whole thing front to back. Wow. Yeah. And then rinse it and put it in. Rinse it. Well, I mean, we have the dishwasher now. Sure. So, uh, but, you know, a pot every year. I'm doing all that stuff and placing it. Pot suck, one. man. Pot suck. I don't clean the outside of the pot. And my, my, my theory is. What do you mean? If you don't put, if you just, right, you pull a pot out of the. The sauce is splattering on there from the other pot. You don't clean the outside of the pot? If there's something on it, yeah. Huh. But my thing is, this is very divisive. Yes. This is what you tune in for. This is the fucking yeah. nitty gritty. Um. If you wash the pot, or like you pull a pot out of the bottom, right? Out of the, the cabinet, the cabinet. Right. You, you fucking boil pasta or whatever. Put you're your pierogies making, in there. You're making pierogies. We're right? making, oh, we are? Yeah, okay. we're making pierogies. Uh, well, we got to get the skillet out, too, because I got to finish them in brown, the pan. Yeah. What am I, a fucking <laughs> asshole? You know, like a soggy pierogi. Oh, dude, anybody that gets steamed dumplings or fucking steamed yoza. Just, I feel like I'm eating baby's feet or something. <laughs> I can't do it, dude. I can't. They're too, they're too soft and mushy dude, and fuck. warm. It's like eating it. Uh-uh. Dude, get that in the cast iron. Fucking put a. <laughs> fucking sear it up for put me, Put a little will char you? on that for me, will you? Oh, man. I can't do it. There was once or twice where Patty fucking tried to hit us with the pierogies without fucking doing them in the, in the skillet. Uh, now, was, as a little fat kid after like school, Attica. I would just make them like that. I would boil them. That's all I knew how to Desperate do. Desperate times. I'm not fucking. Yeah. I'm not getting a fucking canola oil out. You know yeah, what I mean? You're not fucking Bobby Flay. What are you doing? <laughs> I just learned you're supposed to put them in the pan. I always thought they just sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Man. 
You're eating real the, the, the old world Siberian recipe. Toby's like an eight year old immigrant. It's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the far part of Queens has bed bugs. Not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, yeah. But, all right, so you're making your pierogies. The outside of that pan, unless you put it in the dirty, wet sink, isn't dirty and or wet. That's crazy. What do you mean? If you, I just you, don't. You it, give it a once over. Because no, the food that's inside gets around it and on what it do you mean? and the other stuff. Like the stuff from the outside gets all over. But you're, be specific. The stuff that's in the pan. In like the pot. When, when the pot, when you turn it or whatever, it gets on the side a little bit. It's water. If you're making pierogies, it's just water. But it's pierogi water. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not like, it's not wet. It's dry. Like, it's not dirty. I'm a big, you don't have to Would clean Would you it. wash your face with it? With what? Pierogi water. No. Then it's dirty. What that is that your gauge of things? That's what I came what? up with. I mean, that doesn't make any. Sense. I don't even know what that means. Toby, uh, you literally said you use the scrubber from the dishes on your face. Hey, I'm a dirt ball. I'm. I'm. Listen, that's not on the table. Well, what's dirty about that? Nothing got on the outside of it. I think I if know. I just boiled peas or something. I'm so sorry. My shot. My instinct was to take a shot of Foley. I agree with Foley. You got to wash the whole pan. Thank you. Pan pot. And you agree I'm a dirt ball, though. He doesn't even own a pot and or a pan, I bet. I he's, he's been eating fight. He told me he's been eating fucking Hot Pockets the past fucking three weeks. I got a, a set of Aisha Curry, Johns that are sick. Aisha Curry? The singer? What's that? The comedian? No, Steph Curry's wife. She's got a whole line. <laughs> They're sick. That's Aisha Tyler. Aisha Tyler. Shout out to her. <laughs> Shout out. You're buying fucking Steph Curry's fucking sister's fucking pots and pans? It's his wife. Whatever. It's not even his. If it was his, maybe. I'll make you pierogies from half court, yeah. dog. He's, he's, chucking them in, he's chucking them in from the family room. <laughs> Try my new fadeaway line. <laughs> Toby for three. Dad, you're trash. Oh, yeah. Where did you get those? They better be giving them out or something. They're really good quality. No, they're not. That's crazy. They are. That's his wife? Come on. What are you doing? You get La Crusette, or what's it called? Yes. La Coconut? What's it called? We got we got two Crusettes. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Or a Gordon Ram. Wolfgang Puck, I'll give you. He put out some decent Yeah, I mean, product. how is she's not known for cooking, is she? <laughs> According to my mom. Oh, God. Man. Shout out. <laughs> Yikes. What are you doing? He makes a good set. <laughs> I get, get me some Emmett Smith steak knives, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking nuts, dude. Aisha Tyler cooking wear. Some Donald Glover hand towels. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Martha Stewart. That's where you go. Yeah, you go Martha Stewart. Woo! You go fucking. Man. Yeah, that's nuts. She knows how to make a pillowcase. Dude, I'll tell you that. No name brand pots and pans are better than the Kerry pots and pans. Yeah, like what you, you just know? bought the branding on that. That's insane. Yeah. You're drinking booty sweat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bust fucking <laughs> bust the nut bars. <laughs> Al Pacino. Ah. Man, this one is a wonky. In the future, we should have a line of something, though. Sure. Are you garbage? Listen, we're going to take some solicitations here. Okay. Um, a little bit. Uh, if you have... I want a beer. I thought we were getting a hooker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, to get locked up for soliciting. Hit us up if you if you own a if you work or own at a beer company. Not like you know a guy. I want my own kind of beer. I want maybe my own cooking wear. I mean, if fucking Aisha Curry's doing it, I can peddle a spatula. Cooking wear? Something. Kippies? I, I want to be. I want my name all over everything. Are you garbage? Whatever. The Kevin so Ryan series. So if you have series? products or work in that world, hit us up. Okay. We gotta start diversifying. How about action figures? Sure. Yes. <laughs> That's all I had. Okay. Um, but yeah. Oh, whatever. I mean, I don't. I don't think the outside of the pot and/or pan gets dirty unless you put put it in the sink. Then to get it get the, it gets wet and dirty, then you have to do a once over. Okay. That's what I said. But you do each individual piece. At each a individual time. piece as it is. But now, like I said, I have a dishwasher. It all. I do. I do a very good rinse, and we've talked about this. I'm like. I'm washing it before it goes in. My you wife, on the other hand, throws it in there all muddy, cruddy, and it drives me cuckoo. You let a pot sit overnight to soak? When I'm lazy, yeah. yeah. Sometimes the dishes get backed up, like, depending on schedule or what. You know what I mean? Like, it falls through the cracks or something. It can get jammed up, mm -hmm. for sure. The kitchen be can become a mess. 
and counter space in New York. I said, when I fucking, when I get a house or I move, I want the, I'm like, I'm building a fucking counter that's a mile long. I'm out. Out to the burbs. That's where we're going. Yeah. Can't add. What are we doing here? <sighs> Wild. Fucking. It's a knife fight in this goddamn New York City apartment. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. It is. Oh, yeah. Plus the roaches, the bed bugs, the rats. I ain't got none of them. Goldfish. What? Silverbacks. What are they called? Silver curls? Silverfish. I had one in my apartment the other day. Ooh. Man, it'll, it'll scare the fucking <laughs> bejesus out of you. He was crawling up my leg. Hot Sh- geez, what? I swear to God. Jesus, a little frisky making a move, huh? <laughs> making a move on a big guy. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Salted in your own home. Fuck that. Um, but speaking of this, guys, what do you got? Uh, when you know when you sign up for the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. Yes, sir. Um, this one's from Matthew. Is it garbage to eat an entire box or bag of something, then bury it slash hide the evidence in the trash in order to hide it from a family member that's not currently in the house or in the room? Uh, or that knows that you ate it, so you're like, You've definitely... I've done a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah, I've done a lot of that. The best move is you get a couple... You wet a couple paper towels, okay? Don't go through what's in there because sometimes people can tell the timeline. Like, oh, I oh, thought the last you're thing... You're crazy. The last thing... You think go- people are doing trash can timeline math? <laughs> you're nuts. Just in case. You get a couple paper towels. You wet them. Nobody wants. Nobody to likes them. that and do coffee grounds. Good night. Yes. That'll that'll kill the smell too. Break a little. <laughs> Fucking nobody will know you had pierogies. Keep the dogs away from you. <laughs> <laughs> and you, just, you you cover it with that because no one's going there and touching that. But I've been busted as a kid for that. I've they, she's sure. going through the trash on me. Mm-hmm. She brought like a whole box of kudos or something like that came into the house, and we would and I would just knock that out like. An hour or two after she got back from the grocery store on a Sunday, sure. just fucking, what the fuck, Jesus Christ! Mm-hmm. You know, my brother would get the blame for it. I could buy a little time. I don't know. I didn't do it. Where you get the belt? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Black Beauty. Yeah, it used to come out often. Um, it was usually just a deterrent, but I I caught the working end of that once mm-hmm. or twice, and I deserved it. I caught an oven mitt a couple of times, even when I was like, that's she. That was the closest thing she could grab. I was like, lady, this is you might as well be. We having a pillow fight. What are you doing? There's the idea. AYG oven mitts. <laughs> there he goes. Fucking beat your kid. For your feet. <laughs> slap you slap your kid around. No marks. <clears throat> um, she would go to what's this? And she would find it. So yeah, you gotta cover it up. There's no shame. Daddy, in that. stop going through the trash. All right. This was years ago. It was the nineties. A um, wild time. One of the big th- not big things, one of the things that I remember would be uh, you know, you would get jammed up not jammed up for, but I was always worried about uh, you know, my mom finding happy tissues, you know what I mean? Not sad tissues. Or if, you know, after uh, some alone time, you can't just, like, fucking put What are you, a fucking youth pastor? (laughs) You were jerking off. What are we beating around the bush for? (laughs) I mean, your mom watches so patty. I'm there wailing on She knows what she's talking about. She was there. Yeah. (laughs) What? Nothing? They... (laughs) (laughs) You think gave me the fucking Pornhub password. Yeah, I mean, they wash our underwear growing up. They knew what was going on. What? They knew when you were fiddling. I know, but that was always, I don't think they did. That was always the thing, too, of like, of like you, you just can't open the trash can and there'd be like a mountain of fucking, you know. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, it's fucking December or whatever. I wasn't a tissue guy, so I can't relate. Oh, you put them in your undies. That's what you meant. Yeah, let it go. That's crazy. Do you at least understand what I'm saying? Yeah, dog. No, okay. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. I mean, you responded to that with, like, the most insane. Like, no, I just go, I don't know. I go in my underwear. I'm like, okay. Make me feel like a creep for using fucking some bounty paper towel. Being a gentleman. <laughs> I know. What the fuck? <laughs> you're like a, well, it's like a guy walking around a gun range. is like, you pussies keep the safety on? Yeah. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's ready to rock 24-7. <laughs> what the fuck? Move the firing pin around a little bit. Take the governor off this thing. Pew, pew, pew. Um, this one's pretty good that we might save for, you know, something, some, try to make something special out of it. This one's from uh, Old Tugboat Tutti, which is a home run of a name. Uh, can we get a garage fridge update from Kippy's Castle and Henry's home now that the summer's in full swing? Run an audit so we can see what Denise and Patty are working with. Also, Denise is spelled wrong. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to bring the vibe down, but I can tell you, I can tell you mine right now. Oh God! Turned off, oh, out of commission, shut down shop. Club Foley's vacant for the season. 
Really? Everybody's away. Maybe this is my move to come in and purchase it. it I'm telling you right now, man. Yeah, I can make a move on it. It looks like the fucking house in Legends of the Fall after he had the stroke. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Hachi, Hachi. Welcome back to Deep Cuts. <laughs> Yikes. Some people knew what I was talking about. It's, Unplugged. It's, it's run down. Yeah, nobody's partying. The bank burned. Nobody's partying. Huh. Yeah. Fucking closed a little bit. Damn. It's real sad in there, too, when that thing's not on in the summer. Just the gas. Just smells like gas in there. A couple of propane tanks. I turned the grill on for the first time this summer. Thing uh, bit me. <laughs> There's this family of squirrels living in there. Yeah, it's, a, it's, like, it's like a rundown golf course. Okay. She'll take an offer. What would it take for me to come in there and lease out the backyard? What do you want to do? Ten grand for the month? What do you... Please come right in. Five grand for the month. Oh. I get to use it. You already made that offer. You can't go backwards. All right. Well, I'm, I'll write a check for five thousand bucks for the month of August. If you can pay cash, we'll do five thousand. What are you going to do? What kind of events are you going to have there? What you guys don't get to say. It doesn't matter. I'm and not. you're not allowed outside either. A uh, bunch <laughs> of topless broads running around. I got going on. <laughs> I'm pressing them against a sliding glass door. <laughs> Give me. You're you jizzing in your underwear. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I could use a nice pool to get out of the city, go relax, stretch my legs. You're welcome anytime. Come down. What do you mean? Yeah, you have a fucking fridge cooking up there. Oh, for drinking warm Coca-Colas and stuff. Fuck that. It's like Grey Gardens back there. Kippy, let's talk about Helix, baby. You mean the best mattress company in the whole wide world? I slept on one last night. That's the one I'm talking about, gang. You know them. You love them. You go to the website. You take the quiz. It takes two minutes. You don't got to hang out in some mattress store with some bozo with coffee breath that doesn't talk to his kids. Yeah. Get on that Helix. Take the quiz. Sleep hot. Sleep cold. Big guys, small guys, whatever you need, they got it. Yes, uh, me and my wife here, the good folks at Helix, were nice enough to send me and my me and my bird a mattress. The we Twilight, the Twilight mattress. They answer the questions, Bing Bang Moon. They tailor it just for you. It's fantastic. T Bone just got one as well. Look at it. Shout out to the Helix. Um, they're fantastic. My favorite part about it is when it comes, it comes in a box. You fucking open it up. It's like a fucking. Like a bouncy castle blow. Like a lifeboat? Oh, baby, you better fucking hit the deck. When I feel like th- Captain Phillips. I, when there. that thing opens up, it's a good time. Uh, guys, uh, if you're looking for a mattress, just take the quiz. Order the mattress that's matched to you, and the mattress comes right to your door. Ship for free. You don't ever need to go to the mattress store again. Helix is awesome, but don't take our word for it. They've been voted the overall best mattress pick for 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazines. Those aren't two slouchy publications, neither. Mm-hmm. So just go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. Take the two-minute sleep quiz. They'll match you with the customized mattress that'll give you the best sleep of your life. Guys, if you're in your 20s or 30s or whatever, and you're out there sleeping on a mattress that you got from your dead nana or somebody you found on the side of the road, get your act together. Uh, yeah, you want to get laid? What's the fucking deal? Yeah, bring a guy or a gal back, and you got a Helix mattress. You're gonna have yourself a good old time. Woo, and they're they sticking a, around for breakfast. They have they have a ten year warranty. Uh, you get to try it out for a hundred nights, risk free. They'll even pick it up if you don't love it, but you will. They even have financing options and flexible payment plans. So a great night's sleep is never a great night's sleep is never far away. Helix is offering up to two hundred dollars off all mattresses orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, get a pen or pencil out, pull out your little iPhone, helixsleep.com slash garbage. Do it. Kip Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile, best in the biz. Kippy Mint Changing Mobile. Changing the game. I'm talking about Mint Mobile here. I know what you're talking about. $15 a month. They cut out the middleman. They pass the savings directly onto you. You don't gotta change your number. You're not in some contract. Get on it now. Yes, and you might be sitting there like 15 bucks a month. Sounds too good to be true. I bet What's... they hit you with hidden PJ. That... No! Nope. The Secret Sauce is the first company to sell directly to you wireless service online only. They cut out the cost of retail stores. They ain't got a bunch of stores and a bunch of people working them. Retail out, and they pass those sweet, sweet savings directly onto you. Mm-mm. Um, I've said many a times my family is a Mint Mobile subscriber. We've been using it. Four years, it's easy peasy. For anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month and give you the best rate, whether you're buying one or four a family. And the best thing, Mint Mobile families, they're new age. They know a family's not 15 people. They're cool. Families start at just two lines. Look at that. What are we doing? Look at that. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, high-speed data de- delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Like the big man said, you use your own phone with Mint Mobile plan. You keep the same number, all your existing contacts. There's no big headache to switch. It's easy peasy. Uh, To get your new wireless plan... 
for just 15 bucks a month and get that plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Now back to the show. All right, this one's from uh, Chris, $10 homie here. We all know where we stand on Kangol hats. However, what level of trash are you if you pay for them on a payment plan? And this is that big thing. Anytime you check out online now, you can get that Klarna. You can put it on a pa- anything you want. You can put it'll be like, hey, it'll be fourteen dollars a month. It'll be nine ninety nine a month. It'll be seventy bucks. A That's month. bad. And you're they're getting a little juice on that, right? Oh, juiced. I would assume somebody's getting something on that. Yeah. That's if it's a thirty dollar hat. It's like. I don't payments. know. I think it does say interest-free payments or something like that. That's re- that's what we're doing. What are but we I doing? think what it is, so like the website that's selling it probably sells more if they can use this pay over time thing. Yeah, no so shit. So then they Those probably dirt balls. they that the the company that's charging the payments, like the financing company, is probably getting the, wetting their beaks on a percentage of the, you know, like, hey, with us, you'll sell an extra 5,000 Kangol hats. How much give us is a, a fucking Kangol hat? I don't know, but it's one of those things. If you know, if you don't have the cash on you, you got a hot date, you need a Kangol hat. What do you think? What, what do you think is the lowest amount something can be? For what? me to put a payment plan on? Yes. I don't like the payment plans because I don't like, I don't I don't like people after me. No. I don't want someone coming after me in a month. I'm bad at that shit. I'm bad at the fucking paying my bills. My fucking, my Time Warner got shut off three days ago. Yeah, I just don't pay off. the bill. Yeah. It's bad. I'm just a fucking idiot with it. My Especially wife goes, the Wi Fi's out. Now I don't even think about it. Like, I just got whacked with a $650 fucking Con Ed bill. Hachi. But that included a two a two hundred and seventy dollar deposit that they wanted because I I was too. So you haven't been late. paying your bill. Yeah. Yeah. You. So I just called him. I was like, get rid of that. Here's the thing. Shut up. Turn the fridge up a little bit, will you? <laughs> Come gonna on. be cranking some more BTUs out here. It's fucking August. It's going to be hot. What do you got me on dial up? Let's uh, go. This is pretty for this, to bring this up. Um, what I, you didn't say about your fridge. What's your mom's fridge? Probably not good. They go down to shore. That's I mean, she's got some stuff for the, probably some Capri Suns, but I still think those like eyeballs or those like pickled fucking peppers or whatever are all in there. Just that pick, shit stays in there for yeah. 10 years, 15 chicken years. Chicken feet in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're wonky, those. I got to do mine up. I'm, I plan on go, I plan on going home, cleaning out the garage, getting it nice for her. Um, How's this for an AYG product? Capri Suns with booze in them. They have them, I think. Yeah. I think CIL Ice does those. The CIL spiked iced teas, I think, are in a in a pouch. We're brainstorming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're not committing to anything here. <laughs> we'll circle back on it on Monday, okay? Let's put a pin in that. Let's table it. Um, what a. Uh, ba- 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 ba. You're about to do a question. I bought. No, I bought. Uh, this is I'm going. This is garbage. I bought. Uh, I mean, the lady are going to Germany mm-hmm. uh, for a wedding in a couple of months there. So, nice. So we're picking out. Uh, yeah, we're getting married. So we're picking out uh, some flights. Uh huh. And uh, I, I, I bit hook, line, and sinker on the open the credit card. I opened a Barclays credit card. Barclays. Yeah. Because she, we like flying Lufthansa. It's German. She has friends that work there. It's Barclays is to. candy. What is it? What? What's Barclays? It's what do like they do? Barclays Center. It's like a finance. It's like a, oh, it's, it's like a visa okay. or whatever. I thought it was like Cadbury. No, I think it's like the I think it's like the British American Express type deal. That's Ooh, my thing. That's my understanding. Nice. I don't know. It's a bank. It's a bank. Yeah, wow. I think it's a British bank. At Correct. That. And it. Hello. <laughs> His bald motherfucker. Where's all the money, mate? It's gone. So I got approved, uh, but I gotta. What are you getting out of this? What's this guy? If getting you spend so much money, you get the bajillion miles in the first ninety days or whatever. So it, and you get more. They're linked to because we're gonna be. She likes flying Lufthansa. I'm a Delta man in the United States. Mm-hmm. International, we're all Lufthansa company. I haven't done it much, but I'm a big fan of wherever you're going. Their airline. Sure. I don't want to fly Delta to fucking Spain. No, I've flown Delta to Germany, and it's like... I want to fly El Loco. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the airline El Aero Loco. <laughs> tu abuela esta loca. Um... Fly an air margarita, baby. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. To Spain? Mexico. Um, Paloma. But I I felt I clicked like the banner ad, open the six, the open, you get the 70 million miles. This guy's clicking banners. He's running I know, our company. I was approved. What the fuck? Not bragging Whoa, either. Whoa, look at you. Approved. 
Look at you. $2,200. What? Not too bad. Oh, man. Those that's... dumb Brits didn't see that coming. <laughs> also, I applied on the 4th of July. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you fucking redcoats. <laughs> the boys are back, baby. Woo! I just took two, 200 and 2,000, what is it? 2,200 beans from you. Out of the queen's pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh-huh. you fucking old broad. Let that redheaded guy back in, huh? Take a, to win. Take a little Willie's college money. Mm-hmm. Fucking Kippy sitting on his hip. <laughs> Look at you. They know. That's one for the They'll, States, they'll have you in the fucking oh, man, the Tower of London. And I'll be fucking Scottish Yard, dude. Scotland Scottish Yard. Scottish Yard. Who goes that far? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Come get me. You ain't got jurisdiction, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity, I punk. I pay my goddamn taxes sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> a good piece. So what did that do for you immediately getting the flight? N- Nothing. Nothing. I got to wait to get the card. <laughs> so all you did was buy I two. I just opened up a credit card. And bought two expensive plane tickets. Uh, they don't give you points off the jump? They got to throw some points at you. Well, if you, you spend, I think, $3,000 in three months, I'll get the fucking whatever, the 70 million points or whatever it is. But Are, she, are you going to wait to buy the tickets before you do that? Well, yeah, of course. How much are the tickets over there? Just flat I retail. Think, I walk in the uh, store. I think mine's seven fifty. Okay. I think hers is about the same. Why? Why what? She's going for longer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I got a fucking. I got an empire to run here. I can't be gone for fucking four weeks. Zipping around the Amalfi Coast, whatever yeah. you're doing. Where's it at? Where's the wedding at? Germany. All right, give me a little Frankfurt. Okay. Nice joint. Uh, they do it weird over there. They do two, no. They do two weddings. Okay. They do like the civil wedding, which is like at at the. Then they go crazy. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> the first one's civil. The second one's rowdy. Uh, the civil is in like we're civil. Okay. <laughs> That's second pretty one. good. Second That's one. rare that I get lost. <laughs> second one they get buck wild. Um, That's like when you're taking a photo. Now a silly one. Make a dumb face. Uh, That's garbage to do that. What? To a do the silly face. photo? Yeah. Kick rocks. Not a fan. Uh, no, they do like a... Uh, Saying cheese ain't too classy either. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, fucking Copernicus or whatever. I know how to smile. We're 30, all right? Um, no, it's more like uh, smaller. It's like a smaller wedding, like close friends and family, maybe like 40, 50 people type thing. Okay. And then later, like sometimes like a year later, they blow it the fuck out just like culturally how they do it. Okay. Yeah, so that one's going to be in Spain. Now, are you going to the little one or are you going to the big one? It's a good friend of mine. Wait, so when's the second one? When's the Spain blowout? I don't know. Oh, it's down the line. Yeah, like a year and a half or something. Gotcha, nice. Something like that. Maybe I'll tag along to that. What? Just to go over to Spain with you. No. Part ways. Why would what? I might go over to Spain while you're over there. I don't like that at all. You can't stop me from getting <laughs> the on the fuck airplane. I can't. I'll make your work. <laughs> I'll make your work overtime. <laughs> I need you two uh, doing some belly button fun or whatever you guys are doing here. <laughs> Film Foley's colonoscopy. Yeah. Mm. Um, also, we probably can't, as being two titans of industry, we can't be in the... What if something goes... Sad? We both can't be in Europe together. What if there's an invasion? We gotta have, true. We have to divide power and split it. But if, if we both can't be on a plane at the same if, time, except when we're traveling, if we were there together, <laughs> <laughs> except every time we go to a road show, if we were there together, we might help the resistance because we work, we work well together. What? Right. I'd be yelling at you. You fat fucking idiot. <laughs> Our first idea is to do don't a podcast. Don't kill someone, you fat fucking idiot. <laughs> hey, listen, the truth needs to be entertained, right? <laughs> mm. I was thinking about this is crazy, but this is also like my brain of I can't not be in work mode. Um, which I don't want to be that guy. But if I'm going over there, maybe we fly over to do our pal's podcast over there. I then go to Germany. You then come home to try to promote some uh, later European UK. Dates. Yeah, some later uh, European I like shows. that. I'd like to I go know, over we're there. we're kicking around ideas. Wouldn't mind seeing it. Sure, 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 sure. And it. No, but if I go to fucking if I, if I go to London, the fucking Barclays are gonna be after me. They'll probably get me at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> fucking coming out for you. Wrong side of the road and shit. Queen's guard. Yeah. Um. All right. This one's a little weird. This is Shaw. New ten dollar garbage can here. Oh, that's pretty fun. Garbage can here. Is it trashy for your uncle who's forty five 
to brag that he and his son, who's 15, got drunk and laid the night before. Oh. Yeah. I assume different, uh, you know. He was out with his boys. He was out with his they boys. They both went out. Hey, you know. Not that bad. I don't. Th- I think talking to your dad about getting laid is strange. That's like probably the Irish Catholic repression in me. But that's I'm, at a certain age. That's weird. I'm not too. I'm not too. I'm not against that. But it's weird when if you any if you do anything sexual with with, with your with your parents, like go. To, <laughs> I came out wrong. Yeah. Like going to a strip club with your dad, something like oh, that, I, where I, you're both in that situation. Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah, that's weird. But I would even be like, because what's the point of telling your dad that you got laid? It's an instant turnoff for me. What? <laughs> dad. Look dad. over there, your dad's fucking, what's your name, son? <laughs> Motor- Get out of here. Motorbone. <laughs> Some poor girl. Because, um, like, what's the point of telling the dad? Like, are you going to then exchange more stories about? I don't understand it. It's I weird mean, to me and very off-putting. Trying to assert dominance at breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I sucked your dick. What? <laughs> I'm the one that got my dick sucked last night. You do the dishes. Yeah, that kind of stuff. That's Dad. weird. Did you get your butt eaten out last night, Dad? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't so. think so, pussy. <laughs> You're washed and I'm drying. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's all. We have a very uh, repressed Irish Catholic fat that, that you wouldn't talk about that stuff. You didn't. You didn't. Your parents didn't ask you if you had sex for the first time when you had sex. I don't for the think first my time? mom knows I had sex for the first time ever. And I'm married. I don't think she knows. She just has a lot of confidence in you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she would know when like story if we went to like the strip club or something like she would know like birthdays or whatever she'd be like you were down at whatever she was working there <laughs> <laughs> she was a bottle girl <laughs> it's different she was bartending she was, was doing neck rub it was half off yeah uh that would be uh you know in passing my my wife we had like a makeshift bachelor party uh where we ended up in one, uh, a gentleman's establishment. Yeah, we were the cousins and shit. Like yeah, but that, my yeah. mom, we woke up. I get back to my mom's house because I was in Philly. I get back to my mom's house. We wake up. We go down. And I get my wife's just like, you know, European. They, they, you know, they've been talking about boning since they were young boys. Those nude beaches over there. Um, she's like, oh, yeah, they went to the, like, she just dropped it. At, like, we're like, fuck, I got my scrambies in front of me. And she drops it in front of my mom, like everybody. And I'm like, what are you? My mom's like, yeah, all right, we don't, you know, share that much here or whatever. It was like, a, she said, well, it was just like, it got like, I was like, whoa, hey. And I was like, yeah, I don't need to know everything or whatever. She starts crying, calls the priest. <laughs> Throwing holy water at me. He's at it again with those tissues. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he tries to hide them, but I find them. Uh, yeah. This one, all right, this one's from Thomas. Hey. Thomas. Thomas Burke. Hey, bozos. I just became a, fi- a $10 homie. Shout out go. to the $10 Shout homies. Shout out to him. And I need to know, is it garbage to pregame before a night out with your fiance? That might be a little... I don't think it's... It de- one, I think it depends on the drink. If she's getting ready and you're having a fucking Manhattan, I think that's all right. I didn't get that vibe. To be I honest. didn't get that vibe either. That's like fucking shotgun that, and Celsius or something. Yeah, that doesn't sound like they're like going out to dinner. It sounds like they're about to get after it together. Sure. Yeah, I don't have that kind of structure. We don't like, you know, like, are we going on drinking tonight? Uh-huh. Yeah, we don't, we, don't, we don't do that. We, I used to have that a little bit. Go and get fucked up? Well, when she would call, she start, would... Start a bar fight? <laughs> Look over, she's got a guy in a headlock. What the fuck? Uh, Supposed to be shooting darts here. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we would go out and get banged up, like, together. But, mm-hmm. like, also, I feel like my friends would be, they would be like... She could hang boozing with the got like. It's not of, just you two. Yeah, no. Bellying up at a bar together. Yeah, no. We did that. We've done that a couple times in Germany. Like if it was just me and her or whatever, we'll go out because like, but if I was visiting or whatever. Pre gaming in general is garbage, but I love it. It is fucking awesome. I love it, the pre game more than any. When it, the pre game ends, I get so upset when it, people are like getting in cabs and stuff. I'm like, no, let's go back to smoking cigs. And it shit. makes the night so much better. Yeah. Alcohol makes <laughs> things better. Wild. It Getting really, sh- really does. Toby <laughs> knows what I'm talking about. Huh? Guys have been happy. I'm not in talking five about years. getting hammered and stealing a city bus or whatever you were doing. But you were driving the old train. 
Yeah. So I'm talking about having a nice drink, like Kevin said, while she's in the shower. You got out of the shower. You're getting dressed. The TV's on. Kids are running around. Yeah. I do. I, it's probably trashier than a night. Cat. Like if you go out, I'll go out to dinner. Nightcaps, and come I'll come on. back You're to the house, nuts. and I got some beers or whatever. Then I'll have those. That's not sure. a fucking nightcap. You You're a it. dirt ball. No, a nightcap. You stop at a place and you get sure. a snifter or something, I'm, or some kind of martini. I understand. And yeah, you have a leather jacket on. You don't own a leather jacket. Yes, I do. Not that fits. Fair enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think. Uh, no, I'd say. I was saying in the same world of I think having a drink after you go out at when you get home is less trashy than the drink before you go out at the house. If it's a seltzer or a fucking IPA or a Bud Light. Because you're you started your drinking out. You're like, I had a couple with dinner, I'll go home, I'll have one and fucking watch the end of the game or whatever. It's better, to me that's a little different. It's better to be a little greased up when you when you when you get out of the house though. It depends where you're going, sure. Who's sailing? Uh get the apps on the table. Let's go. Kip, butcher box season, baby. Best in the biz. Love that butcher, butcher box. Prime time grilling out there right now. Yeah. You don't want that crap from the grocery store. You want wild caught. You want grass fed. You want grass finished. You want free range free organic range chickens. Good stuff. Again, you know who's been sniffing around the butcher box? Who's that? Patty. Yep. Talking about those deals they throw out. Every once in a while, it's free hamburger. Every once in a while, it's a, it, it's a tractor trailer of bacon. She's sniffing around. Well, I got good deals as Butcher Box. I'm not yeah, even lying. Don't. This sounds like it's pretty out. When I was leaving this morning, my wife took two steaks out of the fridge from Butcher Box. She goes, we'll have these this week. And I go, you bet your bottom dollar we will. Yes, we will. Uh, every month, Butcher Box ships a curated selection of high-quality meat right to your door. High-quality. Free shipping from the continental U.S. No antibiotics, no added hormones. Packed fresh and shipped frozen for convenience so you can save time on your next grocery store trip. Customize your own box or go with one of theirs because they know what they're doing. They've taken all the data. They know what works best. They go, oh, here's our top sellers. This is what everybody wants. This is the best stuff. Either mm -hmm. way, you get exactly what you want. High-quality meat, delicious, 100% grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, organic chicken, that is, pork-raised crate-free, and wild-caught seafood. Wild caught. Unbe unbeatable value, less than $6 per meal on average. Look at that. Six bucks. Get summer sizzling with this special butcher box deal for our listeners. Hit them. Free bacon for life. See, that's what I'm talking about. For the life about. of your membership, plus $10 off. What are they doing? They're giving a farm away. It's crazy. They're giving the free range organic farm away. It's crazy. It's wild called seafood. Get in on it now. I'm telling you right now. Sign up at butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG. Get one pack of free bacon in every box for the life of your membership. What are they doing? They're going to go out of business. Uh, Throw it in the freezer. Plus, it's there. Plus 10 bucks off your first order. That's butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code JYG to claim this deal. Now back to that show. Back to the show. Nice. I do like my wife will go like, let's go. We'll go out somewhere for dinner. And then, you know, she'll be like, let's go. Let's pop some popping somewhere for a dessert. She gets dessert. I get two or three Manhattan. It's fucking nice. googly eyed. Nice. That's a fun fucking thing. Especially in the village. If you're down in the village. She'll have the cheesecake and I'll have a fish bowl of bourbon, please. <laughs> Especially in the village, there's a lot of different people. Pop in, whatever. Pop it's, in you know, here, pop whatever, in yeah. there. It's nice. It's a good time. All right. Great question. Great question. Love it. Um, all right. This one, this is from Andrew, and we've talked about this a little bit. Is a garbage girl with a pool table in your living room? Yes. I would say so. I think the pool table is trashy and less done right. Again, very fun, good time, but it's got to be done well. Which got to be placed well. It seldom is. You're missing a ball. The cues are broken. You only have that little cue with the rake on the end of it. It's not never really a good the scene. bridge. The rake yeah, on the end whatever of it. the fuck. It's it not is. in a sand trap. <laughs> yeah, or you have the little the little guy. It's never good. The maestro. Yeah, one's a tennis ball. It's fucking no. It's bad. Done. Yeah, it's tough, man. When it's, especially when it's like most of the room, and you can never. You have to like if you're in the corner, you gotta fucking go up real high or whatever. It's like that scene from Seinfeld. It's a it's a tough look. Bozo. It's real bad. Yeah. But it's a good time growing up. I never had one. I wanted one. Oh, at some point in all of my iterations of friends groups, someone always had one. Sure. You know, a couple people had, and it was fun. It was like when you're fucking fourteen or whatever, and like in the summer you got nothing to do during the day. Like you got a lot of time to kill as a thirteen year old or twelve year old. You don't fucking work. You're not in camp anymore. You're fucking whatever. It's like, and going to somebody's house who has a pool table. Seems like years. Yeah. <sighs> dude, I remember, dude, in eighth grade summer. Ice felt cold. Like, 
a oh. million years. Oh my god! They'd be like, it's not even August. You're it like was, August. It was eons. Yeah, uh, August felt like fucking retirement. I know. You'd gone through like three different hairstyles already. You know what I mean? A heart been broken fourteen times. <laughs> It was like full of five different people went on vacation. Camp was at, it was nuts, man. Nuts. Coming th- coming through that back basement door, somebody's sliding glass basement door on a fucking hot July day, fucking ice cold AC. Fucking grab the pull cues, hit a couple of fucking brisks ice teas. Clean living, right there. Yeah, we had full run of my boy's house. It was I don't know. They made a lot of money. I don't know if it was all real or whatever, but it was and it was. I mean, his place was fucking, it was a 14-year-old's dream. Like, official basketball net, one that you could do this, and it would raise and lower with a glass backboard. Like, a little Duncan. Oh, uh, drop, yeah, dude, you know how many times you drop that down to seven feet and have a fucking day with the boys? <laughs> fucking doing alley-oops, playing knockout the whole nine yards. Snuffing each other. That's when you were just like, what are we going to do? You're just like, let's get, let's play basketball, then jump in the pool. And that, that only made it to like 1130. You're like. What else are we going to do for the rest of the day? Like being in Shawshank, nothing uh-huh. but time. Yeah. Time and pressure. Uh, those were good old fucking days. Good old days. Uh, this one's from Bonehead for Life. Shout out to the fucking Boneheads. There he Bone. is. Shout out to him. Shout out to the, Bonehead. the Boneheads. Uh, is it garbage if all the cops know your dad and it's not because he's a pillar of the community? Ouch. <sighs> That's, That's real, smaller town shit, too, I would assume. More of a pillar in the community. <laughs> <laughs> More like a pillhead in the community. That's got to be small town stuff, because like if you're known in Philadelphia by all the cops, that's a you're a mass murderer or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rico charges. Yeah, you're wanted for fucking knocking over 15 banks. That's tough for that kid. Sure. Kid's dad was a bozo. Yeah. Getting busted. No I don't good. think there's ever been any real crime in my world like lock up crime or anything like that i told you this but there was two kids whose mom got caught stealing lunch meat at the grocery store she's jammed up though oh yeah still made fun of the merciless (laughs) i mean come on i ever tell you my boy Vinny with the skinny his mom was in a shopping bag commercial (laughs) and we were all fucked up on the couch at like three in the morning and it came on. They shot it in our local. They shot it with uh, when she used to be the Rich Barrow shopping bag. And she was like, I love the deli meat because they slice it so thin. And we're oh. like, what the? We're like, that's Vinny's mom. A what testimonial? The fuck? Dude, our heads Damn. exploded. Your customer service is always on point. Uh-huh. <laughs> I come here for the deli trees. You're like, what the fuck? Mrs. P, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, what'd they pay off with, huh? Not th- I think she probably got like a, a $200 like a gift grapes. card. And they didn't need the money either. They had it. Oh, man. How dude. nuts is that? That was like a fucking... That's one thing that, as trashy as we are, my 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 mom would never do something like that. She would never, she would, she would never do something like that. Also, I don't think anybody in my family would ever talk to the news. Oh, did you see what happened? Angie? No, oh, no. Or keep your head down. Your Stare it off into stuff. space. Fucking see the bugs flying around you. <laughs> fucking spotlight. I like turtles. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Uh, yeah, this one is from Tyler. It just says, catch up with your pizza. I've done it. I've done it. It's not that. But listen. It's not good, stop. man. Just what are we doing Take here? a step back. I'm You're sorry. taking the shittier version of what's already on there. I have a thing for uh, mozzarella cheese and ketchup. Because that comes from uh, the pizza place when I was a kid by my house, Joe's. Shout out to Joe's. They would do mo- they would do cheese fries, but they would use ours. Ours, our place was Munchies, and they would put it in that fucking to go can the the with mozzarella. Yeah, they would put it in the Buddy, the, the tin let foil. Me tell you something. Tin foil to go container, just fries. Throw them in there, then throw the fu- a hand like a dude. Wing. Too Dude, much cheese. Half of Italy's worth. Dude, then slide that into the fucking, into the pizza oven. Holy hell. It was. You're telling me ketchup munchies. on that wasn't fucking awesome. Yeah, I'll give you that. Loved it. That was, they would also do pizza fries where they throw a little bit of fucking CZ in there. A little bit of fucking tomato sauce. I'm with it. Oh, I'm boy. I'm with it. I love a good pizza fry. Shout out to Munchies in Richboro. <laughs> How bella. How on the nose was it? They were open to like 4 a.m. and then they got arrested for like selling mad weight out of there. <laughs> <laughs> the guy got caught with a stick of dynamite. <laughs> Damn. Woo. 
a couple of duffies. Munchies, dude. That was like that would that would be like how are we not all getting arrested going to this place? It'd be like the only thing open at four in the morning, and you're there eating like. No one's going there at four in the morning. Sit in the, the parking lot across the street for if the, I was a cop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No one's going there for the fucking salad at 4 a.m., you know what I mean? <laughs> Getting an early start of the day. Yeah, that was fucking... Uh, Start checking receipts. Who had the mozzarella fries? <laughs> the calzone fries. Um, That was fucking... Man, mm-hmm. those those cheese fries were all right. Buddy. They were like 250 There was another place, IG's Pizzeria. Man, this is a blast from the past. They used to do... It was in the tiniest, shittiest strip mall, IG's Pizza, but they would do breakfast sandwiches all day on a bagel the size of your tits. Dude, they were fucking huge. Huge. Like, like steering wheels. And they were two bucks. And we would order, like, there'd be a group of, like, 15 of us, and we'd order, like, everybody would get, I want a sausage, I want a bacon. And they would just deliver them to like whatever parking lot we were skating in. We're like, oh, we're gonna be in like the what the Shires parking lot. All right, we'll be by the bank. They would come and like the whole order would be like you know fucking thirty bucks for like fucking sixty sandwich. It was a fucking party. Dude. Couple snapples. Ooh, Call it a day. Man. Shout out to the summer. <sighs> Good times out mm-hmm. there. That was like when one kid in the crew had a cell phone. You know what I mean? He had to check his minutes and shit. It's like a radio minutes left. Like a radio and nom. <laughs> You're gonna use it. You gotta make sure you use it right, Daddy O. We got two calls left. <laughs> cat ass, cat ass. <laughs> Talking about dog one is open. You know what I mean? Um all right, this one's from Snoochie Boochies. Snoochie Boochie. Shout um, out to Clerks Three. Yeah, never have one red ten dollar homie. If someone forgets to cancel their card out of a vending machine, do you nab something for yourself and cancel it afterwards or cancel? For them and then put your own money in. Can you do that? I thought the transaction's only for a little bit. Well, what if they do it? I mean, it could be 10 seconds after. 10 seconds is a long time for someone to leave and someone to walk up. Because I stand at an ATM for about 15 minutes after uh, I... I make. don't trust. I got to see the light flashing for the card to go in. I have to go... I don't trust the transaction in. No, I want to. I, I want to see. Welcome to wherever the fuck we are. That's what I want to see. Welcome to Seneca Casino. Or I ain't walking away. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Do you guys check the thing to see if there's a skimmer on it? Do you ever see some of the ones that they catch? They look like it's like fucking proper. It looks the same. Yeah, I use the uh, the ATM machine that's on McDougal Street, right next to Mamoons. That's outside. Yeah, and there's uh, a guy in there writing down your credit card information. <laughs> it's like the Flintstones. Yeah, dude, that's bad. <laughs> Give me a minute. Is this a four or an eight? It's an old card. There's an iguana in there with glasses. Yeah, no, that's like you're getting jacked up. Yeah. I, well, I, those, I, was, I was warned about it by somebody. Anything that's not inside, I'm a little weary of. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes, but dude, if, you're, if you need cash and it's late at night in New York, not even late, but just at night in New York and that thing's glowing, and there's like four dudes standing there, and they're <laughs> like, you're like, dude, I'm about to get beat up. Yeah, I'm about to my, get fucking For my wild. last 20 bucks. I don't like being in there. Go, I don't like going into the inside ones. You're trapped in the there. The vestibules? Like, but like, the, they're like lobbies. They're nice and they keep them nice and cold. Like, like you mean like, like a bank? Yeah. Oh, they're all right. You think so? Well, I mean, there's at least cameras. You got to have, you got to be at least an account holder Yeah, what's holder so I'm on fucking to... crime faces getting the shit kicked out of me? Yeah, I don't know. There's always homeless just people. just fodder for there, social too. media. There's always homeless people hanging out. And you walk in and you're like, oh, sorry. Is this your bathroom with the ATM machine in it, sir? Some guy cooking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming in. Come in. <laughs> what is that, saffron? Um, all right. This is from Damone? Damon? Damon? Um, oh, man. Kippy, Damone? Kippy is an idiot. I think it's... I can't see. Damone could be from uh, Fast D- Times Ridgemont High. Damone. D-A-M-O-N-E. Damone? Okay. Uh, is it garbage to only buy your tobacco where you get your Chinese food? That's a big, that was a big Philly thing. They always did. Socks, too. What? Chinese places in Philly sold socks as well. They had a couple of different things. Yeah, they would always have uh, some, some other merchandise, but that was always Temple Star. Shout out, shout out to T-Star on Temple. Uh, I think it's on, like, Broad and Diamond. Yeah, right at Broad and Diamond. Uh, you would call and they would deliver SIGs. Any place that delivered SIGs. Delivered? Yeah. You could get, you'd be like, hey, let me get whatever. They would just deliver you SIGs. And I think delivery had to be like 
eight bucks or whatever. A couple egg rolls. Yeah, you know, we'd get chicken fingers and fries for two bucks, two fifty. They were so fucking. They tasted like the bottom of China's asshole, dude. <laughs> they they went through fucking grease that hadn't been changed with in what seems to be five thousand years. <laughs> um. <laughs> But it Fossil was, fuel. Oh, man, it was so good. It was so good. But you get a pack of that, you get a fucking chicken fingers and fries and a couple of pack of Bernie. You'd be like, I'm doing an order. Who wants Bernie's? Who wants Sig's? Get them. They would fucking deliver them. But that's a big thing in Philly. The, the Chinese food stores have other merchandise yeah. where they can hook you up. Also, the bodegas would have, like, socks and T-shirts. Like, sure. New York bodegas are very different from uh, Philadelphia bodegas. While there are some similarities as a whole, it's... Uh, Quite different. Chinese place that had socks was usually a fucking home run. Yeah. A couple of fucking shrimp rolls. Fucking do a little general Dow's. Uh-huh. Do Anything behind nice. bulletproof glass when you're drunk is all right. <sighs> Delicious. Yeah, where you got to go in and go like the... Making get... the fried rice fresh. Peas are crispy. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Not too... Not too shabby. Shabadelic. Uh, all right, this one's from M.G. Kelly. Getting a Buffalo Wild Wings gift voucher as a wedding present. It gets worse. It was only for 50 bucks. Ugh. That's bad. And he said he's pretty sure it was a re-gift, which... Of course. Most gift cards, I feel, are some sort of re-gift. I wonder who it was. It was somebody close to the... I mean, that's just, hey, I'm a fucking scumbag. That's what that is. Mm-hmm. You came, you had a plate, probably got the fucking steak, right? I would. I mean, probably didn't tip the bartenders. Probably fucking crushed all the pigs in the blanket. Mm-hmm. You I mean, gotta have a little class when it comes to that stuff. What do you do? I remember not tipping bartenders at cash bar at open bars for. I mean, when I was poor, like up until recent, I would really ride the coattails of the heavy tippers around me and be like, "Well, he. I know he gave him a hundred early, so ten of that could be mine." It's my husband. Yeah, <laughs> he's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a homemaker. Yeah, that's uh, that's tough. You got to... But I understand... Listen, man, I've not had money, so I've given... What's worse, not giving money? Like, I've there, there's people I haven't given, give, given gifts to. So what's worse, that or a $50 fucking gift True. card? And I don't I, know. I've iced people before. I got one or two on me back in the day. I got... Yeah. Most Maybe. of your family. <laughs> well, I'm not going to give it to my brother, right? I mean, at the time, we were business partners. No, I just, honestly, I didn't have any fucking money then. Every time, I didn't have money. I've never intentionally done it where I didn't have money. And it was always with the intention of, I'm going to get, I'm going to mail it next week when that check comes through or whatever. I've never been like, oh, I'm for sure stiffing this person. If I got married, would you, would you give me an envelope? Of course. Well, would you say you're welcome? <laughs> no, get it. Uh, yeah, of course. What would that be? In your envelope? Yeah. I'd be expecting two. Two hundred? Thousand dollars. Why? What? That's crazy. Yeah. I don't, did you give me anything? Yeah, I wasn't invited. Still, a gift card would be nice. I know your mom gave me a gift card. Did she? Your mom gave a... Your oh, mom- yeah, that's right. She did. I'll stop by Buffalo Wild <laughs> later today. Your mom gave my wife some flowers, I think, or a no? Plant. That was me. I, oh, I did give you stuff. I gave you the. There was no. There was no two thousand dollars. No, but there was a gift card. I, <laughs> I, gave I, you gift I think it's for Marshalls. <laughs> you gave me a Marshalls gift card. No, dickhead. I gave her Dick's a, sporting goods. What was it? <laughs> I gave her a home goods thing. That's the same as Marshalls. I got her it's flowers. For the house. I brought you a Whitman sampler, and I got you. Uh, I think a regular gift card. What? Didn't I? A rate? What's a rate now? Like one that's not to a place. Or maybe I got you a Wawa gift card. And bought SIGs on it. <laughs> hey, listen. There's, There's only 1318 yeah. left on there. Right, this guy's got me dead to rights, man. I, so I you want two Gs it. from me? Not now. Not now? Not after, after, after realizing all that. I would probably do... And now I feel bad for this guy, too, I, with the Buffalo Wild Wings. That's tough. So you Which, have to be to... honest, I've never been there. I'd like to try it out. I know. There was... there was, there was was 50 stinks. A hundo. Come there on. was a lot of chatter about them putting one in um, by the GW, at the GW bus terminal. They redid that whole fucking thing. And there was a lot of chatter about them putting one in B-dubs there. B-dubs at G-dubs? B-dubs at G-dubs. At GWBs. It's got a ring to it. Um, because, like, all the people, I guess, for, like, are coming from... Their, I guess their thought is, like, so many people commute over the bridge there that take the buses and shit of, like, 
they're coming after work, hit there for the game or happy hour. We'll meet there. We'll have some drinks. Well, you know. And man, I was like really fucking pumped to have a fucking B dubs in the back in the backyard on a but Sunday. Roll down, watch the game with the guys. Couple of beers. Cheer on your favorite teams. No, but not Sweet anymore. Chili wings. Goddamn COVID took that. What are you gonna do? Um, but to back a, I I can't hate the fifty dollar gift card unless they knew. Like I would assume it's going. Hey man, this is all I fucking have. The only times I've been to, I had to go to a wedding where it's like. I got to get the fucking suit. I got to fucking get there. You got the night before. You got a hotel room. All that shit. I have a feeling this gentleman wasn't staying. (laughs) He drove there and left. Sure, which could have been, but it's also like he gave you a gift. I've done way. I've stiffed you, you know? True. I've put stuff on the, I've taken stuff out of the mini bar and skated on the fucking, on the room. That's how you got your blender. So I can't hate it completely. Okay. Uh, This is another wedding one and we can wrap her up. Have you or anyone you know been cut off at their own wedding? Have you ever seen a bride or a groom? I would assume a groom. Oh, yeah. Get way too fucked up. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. The husband did something stupid. It was Mm -hmm. awkward the next day. For sure. Yeah. All of a sudden, one of them just disappears. She she went up to bed. She went up to bed. Yeah, we put her up to bed. Uh, She had a long day. Yeah. She got a little too excited. They they never just say... (laughs) Dumb broad got fucking blackout. Yeah. It's always like she was excited. She was probably puking her guts out in the fucking lobby. Yeah, that's t- that's a tough look. I, you know, I definitely uh, dabbled a little too much during my wedding uh, festivities. Um, might have, you know, yeah, I think I called my wife a bitch or something. Jesus Christ, she was trying to take my suit off me or something to like get me in bed. I was real banged up, and brown liquor runs through me. <laughs> But anywho, Ooh. that's all water under the bridge. <laughs> Holy shit. It's all Evan Williams under the bridge. <laughs> Shout out to JD. <laughs> Brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, let's wrap her up. All right, gang, we love you. Come see us on the road, right? We're all over the fucking place. The ticket link's in the description. Guys, we're coming Kicking all it back over the fucking road, baby. August 11th, Red Bank, New the, And I've been Jersey. saying, I said it one time, I said it a trillion times. Those tickets are fucking going. So get them. There's only like balcony seats left. And fucking... End up like Abraham Lincoln, you know what Got I mean? Got balconies? I mean, loosely described as balcony seating, yeah. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. Gang, we'll see you next week. Peace!